and report or not the orchids from Orchid Garden. Let's see what I'm up to. Um, as you probably guessed, I like the um, the haul I got from Orchid Garden. Uh, I mean, when I opened the box, I, I was prepared for <laughs> an emergency, really. Uh, no, not really, but uh, anything could have happened. Five extra days in the box, and I was a bit sceptical, but now I'm not anymore. I always received good plans from her. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure. You shouldn't always listen to rumours. As I say about my way of growing orchids, I want to try stuff out all by myself and make my own mistakes before I can exclude certain way of reporting orchids and treating orchids and so on and so forth. So, now I discovered another lovely orchid nursery website to buy orchids from and that's kind of scary with my orchid addiction and all yeah but never mind it's a lovely addiction and that addiction is well worth keeping it's a lot better than being addicted to um, smoking cigarettes or even worse so this is a lovely 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 addiction yeah this is the uh, Rinko where's the tag Rinko stylist <laughs> uh, uh, let's <clears throat> let's focus please this is the Rinko stylist Gigantia peach orange the one with a spike and the spike is growing rapidly since the whole unboxing video and it's only been a couple of days this time I decided to be a little bit quicker to deal with the orchids and sort them out so let's start with this guy shall we let's get rid of the hanger we don't need it anymore but we do need the tag so let's just uh, save that one so I can soon uh, <laughs> distribute hangers I believe I have a uh, yeah a lot <laughs> in my cupboard so what to do with it I decided to not break the spike firstly and not disturb it but I will wash it a bit there's spiderweb or whatever it is uh, some remaining pieces from the uh, shred paper newspaper so now giving the whole orchid a little flush under my tap <laughs> so let's see um and still a lovely little basket new kind for me anyways we already talked about that so Let's put him into this clay pot with charcoal. And I flushed the charcoal already. And I will avoid the larger pieces. We don't need them. The pot is far too uh, small for them. I will, I mean, the purpose is to keep a bit of moisture, but only a little. So, too bad the roots are so uh, tiny and short. But uh, they always seem to be uh, when it comes to these kinds of orchids. Yes. It's not very often you see a um, wrinkle stylus with long roots. That barely ever happens. So, not in this case either. But it didn't prevent it from spiking. So, I guess that's not a big issue for this kind of orchid. Uh, yeah. <laughs> strange but yeah so we'll just just stick the pieces around it and make it stable so yeah it stays here yeah? that's great and what do I need I decided for this session to um, put a bit of uh, this biological charcoal up here as well fill it up a little bit so there will be some more moisture, dunk it a few times, press it down again, and yeah, it's alright. I believe this guy is all, whoops, shit, <laughs> I believe this guy's all set to go now. Just need a little tag, just uh, yeah, stick it down there, doesn't matter. So, goodly good, and he will sit amongst my other 
Rinko Stylus Orchids in my IKEA stand, which I would love to have a few more of, but the stock distributing them. So, <laughs> as for in many cases with stuff you really like, yeah, the stock, they just simply stop. Uh, distributing them. I, I, I don't see no re the reason why, but uh, yeah, that's life, I believe. Yeah, but this one is, yeah, it looks great. Don't you think? Yeah. And this root is even branching out here. It's good for being a wrinkle stylist. They are so, so, so slow growers. Yeah. So now let's move over to something a little bit more simple. Uh, just this gorgeous Phalaenopsis Mickey Golden Sand. This peloric one is already starting to open up its bud, so it didn't blast on us. But it looks almost like my joy fairy tale peloric, but I well we shall see. But that's yeah, that's not bad. It's not bad news. If it's got any of its inheritance in it, uh, it's going to be good news. This, this one is going to be out for ages. So, but I will have to uh, <laughs> wash the leaves a bit, clean them off. But I won't use water, cotton pad. With a little bit of orchid mist, yeah. Again, it does the job very well, as you can see. Cleans them off, gives them nutrients, the leaves at the same time. So, two in one go. That's not bad. So, this is goodly really good. Now, do I want it in uh, this ugly, cheap? soft um, pot do i no i don't i want to get rid of this pot but it's easier said than done so i would like to keep its roots intact and don't stop any part of this orchid so but as i say phalaenopsis don't mind being reported at very wrong time of the year even in bloom, they don't care. I think that I would like to uh, release all of the, the moss, but the algae part I will get rid of. Of course, so serves no purpose, just eating is taking. Doesn't contribute with anything uh, to this orchid. Yeah, goodly good. Here's a better pot. Yeah, just stick it down there. But we need something else around it to stabilize it. Yeah. We gotta cover it up. In sphagnum moss around it. Some new, a new layer. As they always do at nurseries, it seems. When an orchid outgrowed is part. So. Might as well just use that method here and now. Up, up, up. So let's see. It looks alright all around it. And I think it does. So that yeah, is kind of okay. So this is it for him. Phalaenopsis Mickey Golden Sand. And we're gonna see the blooms shortly. It's going to be a good cluster. And a spike is even branching already. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. About six flowers here. A few will probably blast, but uh, at least three is going to develop correctly. And we have this little branch. Yeah. Good. Well, now to the big business. And I must admit that I have a slight problem, uh, yeah, if you want to put it that way, maybe it's not a problem, I'm not sure yet, uh, this one is too big to fit in the picture, but um, <coughs> it's the Vanica Stylus Plumpit, no, yeah, Vanica Stylus Plumpit Blue, you can see the flowers, what it's going to look like, uh, arriving in Spike, and that's great, good of her to send me. An orchid and spike and I think the spike is developing nicely so I don't think that this one will blast but on the other hand it dropped a few of its bottom leaves so uh, I found one in the box after the um, unboxing session 
and now she um, she dropped two more. It's not a good thing when a band orchid drops her leaves, but uh, for a moment I thought that this blackening stuff was rot that is starting to rot on us, but it's not so. Now I'm not so worried anymore. So I believe a good shower will do her some good, yeah? So that's what's going to happen right away. Well, she's showered and I believe we recognize this picture, don't we? <laughs> I believe this is the one on the picture that was shown in the web shop. This large size one, I, I didn't get rid of all of the, the, uh, the dirt, yeah, but uh, someday I will, yeah, I just... What's all oh, this mud? I wonder where she kept it. <laughs> yeah, she, this one needs uh, another shower. Yeah, 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 a little bit more thorough one. But anyways, uh, <coughs> okay, what to do with it? That's the main question, yeah? Put her in a glass vase, yeah. Nothing more, nothing less. Even though I keep my Van der Kostylis Plumpit Price, the orange-yellow-ish reddish or whatever one i've never seen these blooms yet uh in charcoal and it works well but um that one was such a small guy compared to this one so uh, yeah they're not even comparable to one another so uh, let's not do it so yeah uh, <laughs> this one's roots are so 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 stiff so i will need to put it into order for a while Oh no, 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 now we're getting there. But I wouldn't want to break the roots in order to get it down here. So just squeeze it. That's that's not my um, thing, really. Um, but I, 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 I think it will work. Just want it upright, you know. The solution may be to put a stake to it. I have a real goodly good stake lying about in my cupboard. Ready to use. So... I just put it into the basket and put a little stripe to the orchid here to keep it in place a little bit more. So now it's straighter, doesn't really lean forward or backwards or to the side all that much when moving it about. But uh, um, I have another idea. Maybe just to put a few pieces of charcoal to the bottom. I uh, I think it won't harm it. I did it to another vanda, huge size pure vanda, so and it worked just a little bit to the bottom. So it stabilized it a bit down there, just a little, as you can see. In my dry conditions, will not stay uh, hydrated for any length of time. So, I really need to do something. But I wouldn't want to pot it up in bark at this size. It won't work. In that case, you would need to uh, uh, catch them young, as young plants. And uh, slowly introduce them to bark. That's my belief. But anyways, I think this is great. And that spike looks promising. Really promising. Yep. Yeah, here's the... Um, uh, bup, bup. The village chief rose. The purpose of this order. The very purpose of this order, shall we say. I will need to peel off the sheath. I will need to not put it into semi-hydro. Since it caught black rot not once but twice so wise from experience I will do something else with it so it's prone to catching black rot and its roots doesn't like to be disturbed so what to do then all right the answer is simple Bara clay pot of course like usual and you don't know what to do. <laughs> no, not really. But I, I will not um, touch it. So um, this time I'm, I'm a bit scared 
to be honest. So, I'm gonna mix up a little bit of bark, a little bit of moss, it's not far too much, into this mixture. Charcoal, as always, and uh, I thought about perlite, but as a scale magnet, this one really is. Uh, I would like to detect them if they arrive. So, therefore, no perlite. They may easily be confused the scale or the other way around. So, yes. And this is going to be an easy PC reporting until this one is settled and adjusted to my conditions. Yeah. It's really, really water retentive media is to the metal. Still so. Not too much to the bark. In this kind of setup, my old one bloomed, and that was some blooming. Oh, it's so sad that I put him into semi-hydro. I'm so sad that the scale caught him. That was a, I think it was a uh, 45 euro uh, orchid from Swart uh, at a time. Yeah. So I was so sad when I lost it. I had to throw it away. Otherwise it would have affected the other ones with black rot. So, uh, and it just went into one direction only, and that was backwards. So, uh, well, that's why I had to throw it away. So, uh, some of them are really sensitive to, um, to especially black rot. Uh, it seems to be the, <laughs> yeah, this is one of my stupid theories. I always have a theory for everything in life, it seems. Um, the red and yellow-ish. Cattleyas don't like to be too moist. They are prone to get black rot more easily than other cattleyas. It's been a fact for me, so maybe it's been a fact for you as well, if you consider it. Yeah, give it some thought. Food for thought. So, now she's reported at least, and I got it. And you wouldn't dare give up on me yeah yes yeah here's the flimsy orchid the uh, Cattleonti your box dark waters uh, yeah the one I had before was called SLC Sophronitis Leila Cattleya so I, I assume this is the very same variety but just a name change as always um uh, yeah Ah, it's cheap. <laughs> yeah, I need to cut it. Yep. Whoops. Without tilting the whole uh, triple stand, then there won't be no video at all, yeah? So, let's see now. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Somebody put a lot of effort on this stupidity. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I shouldn't. Be saying those kinds of things, but yeah. Anyway, I take it back. Anyways, uh, flimsy as always. Um, this one is a flimsy orchid. It has been and shall remain flimsy, but the good part is that it is in growing stage. Uh, it didn't like being in semi-hydro, just forget about that one. Yep. And a cold scale is a scale magnet, and this one shall be as well, unfortunately. Yeah, no means being negative, not at all. It's just fact, and fact is fact, yeah. This is an old dead suitable, that one we shall cut off. Yeah, it's dead, deadly dead. It's been dead for a long time, so it's nothing new, so that's a good thing. Um, good news. So, nothing spreading. At least. And it's sitting in bark. Lots of roots to the uh, surface. 
lots of what's this uh it's from the uh, shredded newspaper do we see any new growth any sign yeah yeah i think we do yeah here it's a little sign of an eye it's, it's just practical it's really nice to have it in this box still um so what to do just press the box down and i believe I won't do much with this orchid at all. Nothing more than to add on a bit of bark to the top. I see too that the roots are going down a bit, bit, bit more. Yes. <sighs> There's nothing wrong with it. I tried out this moss mixture and I tried out semi-hydro. Uh, nothing really really seemed to work for it so uh, why not just keep it and try something different and try out to keep it uh, put in uh, in its spark why the heck not right but it's still a flimsy ugly looking plant so I I will need to stake her up and that will be perhaps better I clean off her, um, her um, leaves, of course, as well. As you can see, flimsy, flimsy and kind of weak. I can almost feel it uh, cracking here. So it needs to be a bit more st stiff, a bit stiffer. This one won't produce any flowers, never. This growth here, I mean talking about this growth not the plant so uh yeah <laughs> no no yeah so now i think she's um it's looking better but not good enough now it takes some time to be satisfied yeah Bump, bump, and bump. Such a flimsy one. Yeah, <laughs> it's not the greatest looking one, but still, it will produce some flowers in a couple of years. Yeah, this is not a flowering size one. I had this before, so to speak. So, yeah, and yeah, this one will never be become a good looking plant, but no, nah, yeah, I've done my best, my very best. So, yeah, I believe we got an easy one here. The Catacetum, Fred Clark Yard After Dark, Sunset Valley Orchids. It seems like this is the one it all started with, but uh, <laughs> it just seems that way, but I may be wrong. I don't know why I'm so. I mean, obsessed with this one. Maybe I think that this this one may be some kind of an original to the Black Pearl. And this is one it all started off with. But I'm not sure. I'm just simply obsessed with this one. This variety. So I just had to have it again. But anyways. Um, yeah, it might as well stay uh, put in this one. And just simply into a outside container where I can stay for a bit or so. Doesn't matter. So I shall not receive anything for a bit. Only a trickle of water every once in a while. Now it's totally dormant. Or at least I made it dormant. <clears throat> well, that's another way to trigger it into dormancy. It is to peel off its leaves. Yeah, and it's may sound cruel but um yeah i can assure you that that's another way but this one already was dormant so it didn't matter yeah i'm just gonna put this one aside somewhere a little bit bright light i'm not gonna hide away in some kind of cupboard or shoe box no here's another phalaenopsis time shin fly eagle and i really really love this one you you see yeah you can see the picture 
and I'm sure you'll love it too. So um, it's fun to have a couple of Phalaenopsis again. Hybrids. Not too many. Then I wouldn't have any space left for my Kitleus or my Oncidiums. Just a few to see what happens. Phalaenopsis are the store-bought ones. I don't really, really like to be uh, like it here, I mean, in my conditions. So, uh, and I've said it so many times before. I never seem to get them to rebloom nowadays. Yeah. It's kind of embarrassing to, uh, uh, to say, but that's a fact, and I, I will not lie. That's not my cup of tea to lie. So, uh, well, this one seems to be kind of um, established. Established enough to um, having its roots through the holes to the bottom, so I will leave it here, add on some bark, and leave it be, even this one, yeah, I see no, um, let's just stay here, give it a little bit of water perhaps, and maybe I shall stake it as well, um, stabilize it a bit, that's all I need. And maybe cut the um, steak a bit, like this. So, yep, and clean the little, little leaves. Of course, yes, seen it all before. It's a lot, same, 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 but this is what's going to happen. So let's see now. Here's the lovely little Cattleya, Cattleya, whatever Cattleonte, or yeah, Doris and Byron Christmas Rose. Yeah, it really looked like a little rose, and a small size Cattleya is always nice to have in your collection. Yes, you always peel off stuff. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, never mind. Let's get her out and see. I already, <coughs> I already showed you. But there's another growth coming there, so um, she will need to be out of this pot. Yes, and perhaps there's going to be something from this one as well. Yeah, let's see now. Yep. Yeah, this one is another new growth, but. It's a weak one, so maybe not. All right, this is really compact pressed. Uh, this shan't be released. Yeah, it would do this orchid a lot harm. And it shall not be in uh, semi-hydro either. So I'm gonna wash this one. Nice and tidy, yeah? So into this clay pot, like usual, in this concept. I'm starting to become a pro on this one. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it is great, yeah. This is a real cutie. I wonder if she's really actually a flowering size orchid, yeah. It remains to see, be seen, of course, yeah. Just don't do a sloppy work. Let's do it fine. So, tag, stake, cut, choose the right one, not too close to it. There. Stripe. Tight. And that one is not going to be a good one. I bet lack of light may be an issue in this case. One week in the box, couple of days in the shade in my kitchen. Yeah, I didn't do that 
new growth any 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 favor to speak of but it looks neat i love this one so we have this fairly synopsis doritis pulcherima 4n and this 4n i think it stands for larger blooms or something like that i haven't had time to look it up this last time we talked about it so but it's something about the blooms being larger and better more colorful perhaps but never mind we shall see when that day arrives these leaves are ugly i will peel them off I'll look rotten it's kind of uh high up here but it's in bark it seems to have been sitting in there for quite some time yeah root long root going all the way through the bottom hole but shall I release it? Is it wise? No, I don't think so. I'm just gonna fill it up. I would like to see the lovely four end blooms. So, not disturb it. It's much better. Let's hope we won't get this black rot to my new Phalaenopsis collection. Was so sad when it happened when I put put an orchid with a black rot spores nearby my Phalaenopsis collection and it spread and I only have a few left now I lost a few so now I'm trying to replace them so let's hope it's all gone the infection or virus or shall we say anyways Looks okay. A little tag to the back. Yep. Mm, we have a little Phalaenopsis again. Berlina Green. See what happened to her. Yeah. Kind of good packed. They really are. But, um, yeah. Need to be patient. Well, guys, what to see? Uh, we have two plants in here. As a matter of fact, I didn't see it before. And its roots are all the way down. And I shan't disturb it this time either. So, uh, yeah, maybe you can use just a little bit of refill of bark. As I did for the other ones. But it is kind of flimsy. And this uh, little one, I believe, hasn't got many roots down there. No, it's just a little bad little cousin hanging on to it like a bad sticker. As I say. Uh, yeah, might as well just stay as it is. I, I don't see the... Uh, advantage on reporting it really i don't think that would do it any uh, favor to speak of yeah well so well this is not best of plants but um it will have to do, and it will be, will, will need to be reported before long, but for now, yeah, it's going to remain like this, yeah. <laughs> no water into the center. No, no, no. <laughs> it's a big no-no. Now it's finally time for the last orchid, I believe, yeah? Failing off this hieroglyphica times sibling, uh, S-E-B, sibling, for us with a sibling, um, well, this is great. This is goodly good great. Yeah. But I hate this pot. I hate it. So I'm going to cut it open and tear it apart, yeah? And I shall clean off this orchid with some water. See too that no water has is sticking to the center. 
remove this little uh, sticker and put it with a layer of sphagnum moss and it just happened to be the last spa uh, pieces of uh, wet pre-wet sphagnum moss that I have for the moment so I think it's going to be perfectly fine just to put a layer around it and squeeze it into this little nine centimeter plastic pot so and then I say goodly good again it seems to be my favorite expression for the time being and she will remain in here for a bit yes and with this lovely spike here this is so 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 great ah shit I forgot about this spike oh I hope I didn't break no I didn't yay my lord yep yeah. okay let's just um support her a bit to the back side or whatever wherever she needs the support to be straight straighten her out so to speak and this one is kind of flimsy but she looks <laughs> looks funny now into a uh, decorative container and she's set all set to go and there will be no water here <laughs> Now, it's probably gone. <coughs> I wouldn't want to have any <clears throat> any uh, crown rot or such. To her. Guys, thanks so much for watching this long video. Hope you enjoyed it, though. And we can do some follow-ups on these guys later on. Updates and stuff and see how they're doing. If they're, uh, they survived. If they uh, thrived or if they died. Yeah? Three options yeah, I hope this one is gonna straighten out a bit so she looks like the way she shall do like this like my old one now it's just like as if I never never ever lost her they are so 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 similar so greatly great and thank you guys for watching and we shall talk soon bye bye